We are just so excited to get back and do a live performance. Beauty and the Beast is obviously one of the most well-known, uh, not only plays, but movies from Disney, both the animated and the live action. I love movies, but there's something about live theater that like really brings you in a little bit more. And being able to like make eye contact with a performer is really something that like you could never experience in. Beauty and the Beast was a film made in 1991 by Disney, and it pretty much goes into a prince when he was very young. He sent a uh, old beggar woman away, and she she sets a spell on him and it comes back to haunt him. And the whole base of the story is that he has to get somebody to love him in the form that he's in. This is nice, but how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? So <laughs> let's see if we have a bunch of rules. Yeah, so it's basically love is on the inside and like it's not about what's on the outside because Belle falls in love with the beast and he's hideous and ugly on the outside, but she learns to find what's on the inside, which is the prince. Girls, girls! I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that's going to change your feelings for me. Oh, no. No. Never. And we'll still have our little horrendous... It is a truly inspiring and magical show. It is not only about love, but friendship and hard decisions. And it comes with a story that you should never trust anyone based on looks. I feel I'm just full of surprises. For you, Mademoiselle. A miniature portrait of... There's a lot more than what you've probably seen in the movie you're used to. A lot more songs and more character, really. So for those who don't know, my name is Aiden Dugan. Uh, I play the role of Maurice, and that is Belle's father. And he is known as very crazy. And as you can see by the hair, he is a, a very crazy guy. And how, however, though, he is a very smart guy. And he goes and, and makes this new invention. And, you know, he goes into the woods hoping to wear, win first prize and to give Belle the life that he has always wanted to give her. My part, Lumiere. He was a servant in the castle and transformed into a candlestick, and he's basically like the beast first hand. You learn a lot about how like what's important is more within and how we can grow as people, right? We're not locked into these labels we create for ourselves. I mean, I play the beast and very much in the first act, he sees himself as that. He sees himself as nothing but a monster. But as we continue on, he learns to become more human and... There are a lot of surprises. I'm not going to spoil any of them. 